Hey everyone, it's John here from Atagaki back with another video and this video is going to be my first round mock draft. Top 31, Stanley Cup is over, so now we know 1 through 31. I'm going to give you my mock draft, give you my predictions, I'm going to balance it based on what I think the team is going to do, which player I think they're going to draft, and balance that with my rankings, which players I think are going to go where, and through each pick, I'm going to give you more information based on that and give you my insight. But of course, if you're new to the channel, if you're a new subscriber, welcome. Welcome to the community. I hope you come through more. I hope I see you more. Please smash the like button and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's get right into it. I'm not going to waste any time. So top five, Alexi Lafreniere. I think that's no debate. Rangers, lock it in. Tim Stutzel. This might be a hot take to some people. I still think it's possible that they go by field, but I still get that vibe. It's going to be Stutzel. I think he can play center. He can play wing. He's very versatile. And I think Stutzel is a guy that the Kings, I mean, here's the thing. I think they like by field. I think there has been even conversation they might reach for Drysdale, but I think Stutzel is going to be the guy at two. Quentin Byfield, I think that's a great pick for the Sens. A great pick. Could be their future number one guy. Up the middle, I like it for the sense. Four, Perfetti, but honestly, if it was me, if I was Stevie Y, I'm going Drysdale. But they drafted Cider last year. I don't know if they do that, but sometimes Stevie Y does some things we don't expect. I think they're going Perfetti. I think there's a possibility they go Rossi. I would go Drysdale, but I'm going to go Perfetti. And Lucas Raymond, there's been so much talk that the Sens are going Raymond. He's another guy. If I'm the Red Wings, I would go Raymond. Like, I love Lucas Raymond. He is probably one of my favorite prospects. Him and Drysdale are my, probably my two favorite prospects in this draft. Uh, so I love Raymond. I don't think he would be a stretch at four at all, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm going to go Sens five. And for me, just based on that, I'm already saying the Sens arguably are the winners for the draft. If they get Byfield and Raymond... <laughs> uh, number six, Drysdale. I don't know how the Ducks will let Drysdale get past them. If he was there at six, so I'm going Drysdale to Anaheim, Holtz to New Jersey, elite scorer of this draft. He can really put the puck in the back of the net. I'm going Alexander Holtz to the Devils, add some more scoring on the wing next to his year. And obviously for a guy like Jack Hughes, who needs to bounce back his year two. Jake Sanderson to Buffalo. Here's my thing. Okay, I don't know if they go center. Like, I think if Perfetti's here, they go Perfetti. But I wouldn't be surprised if they go Sanderson. He's a different kind of defenseman than what they have. And, yeah, I think Jake Sanderson could be their guy at 8. And they could also trade that, so look out for that. Marco Rossi, 9 to Minnesota. They're looking for a center. Rossi would be their guy. And we talked about it. Jesse Pollock and I, in the video, Pollock wants this guy, Anton Lindell, to win a pick at 10. I could really see it happening. I think he could go maybe 9 to Minnesota. I would be shocked if Winnipeg let him get uh, past them at 10. Okay, so here it gets interesting, and I'm going to go through already. There's going to be people complaining, whatever. Nashville, Jack Quinn. I love Jack Quinn. I think he's an elite scorer. Some people are going to say he's overrated because he was playing with Rossi. He was with Ottawa, 67. So I think, you know what, maybe his numbers were inflated a little bit, but I do think he's an elite scorer. He's going to be an elite scorer. Uh, Dawson Mercer, really reliable. Even, I mean, Craig Button threw a comparison of Blake Wheeler on him. I think that might be a little bit of a stretch, but in terms of his play style, I see it. I think Dawson Mercer could be a top six forward in this league. Yaroslav Askarov, he could, he could go earlier. I mean, there's been already rumors. Kiprios threw it out that Ottawa might be interested, and I'll throw that out there. There's been some rumors of the fifth overall pick for the Sens. Could they trade that, trade down, and draft Askarov? If not, I see the Hurricanes or Oilers getting a scare off. I could really see the Hurricanes scooping them up and just locking it in for their future. That number one guy, I would say right now, if you look at the Hurricanes scoring, especially top heavy when you have Aho, Teravine, and Svech, you're going to add to that. And then the defense has not been a problem. It's been the goaltending at times. So a scare off. Seth Jarvis, I love the fit for the Oilers. They're not afraid. I mean, in general, but Yamamoto, we'll see if they draft, like they're not afraid to draft smaller. Um, Seth Jarvis could be a great pick. And Rodion Amirov. I like this guy. I think he could be a project, but 
I've said it time and time again. This is the NHL. This is not the NFL. You draft best player on the board. I think Braden Schneider, I don't want to go on a rant in the middle of this video, but Braden Schneider is going to be probably a solid top four defenseman potentially. But at 15th overall, especially in a deep draft, I'm not drafting for a guy that has a low ceiling for something that at his best, he's probably going to be a second pairing guy. I want a guy that's going to give me something to be proud of, something to be celebrating about, especially this early in a deep draft. Amirov could be that kind of guy. If a guy like Quinn or Jarvis fell here, I would go there for the Leafs. You could always trade a prospect or a piece for a defenseman or sign a defenseman. You don't just draft a defenseman if the skill isn't there. If the Leafs were in the top 10 and Sanderson or Drysdale were there, 100%. But that's not the case here. I go Amir off to the Leafs. 16, Henrik Lapierre. I think a guy that, I mean, injury issues, and I, I think it would be a fit in Montreal. So, I mean, up the middle for the future, maybe you have, obviously, Suzuki, then Kakanemi if he establishes his role, and then maybe Lapierre. Uh, Gundler, Chicago, I think he provides a lot of skill. He would learn very well under a guy like Kane. Holloway, I think this is maybe where the drop-off a little bit goes for forwards. Holloway is going to be a top six or at least a top nine forward in the NHL. Connor Zary, another great uh, centerman in this uh, draft. I think the Flames could pick him up. Maybe for their future up the middle. Are they trading Monahan And Braden Schneider. Uh, this could be an aspect here. I'm going to go through the next five. But Braden Schneider. If the Leafs maybe trade down with the Devils, for example. You never know. Or if the Leafs trade down maybe with the Rangers. Possibly. Uh, Caden Gooley. A lot of people think he might drop. But uh, if you go back. Like Braden Schneider is that right shot defensive in that physical defenseman he could be a fit for um, a lot of teams um Caden Gooley for me he could go like after 15 like in around 20 or he could go second round it's gonna be interesting I don't think he has a higher ceiling at all either Jan Mysak underrated skilled I think the Blue Jackets could pick him up Reichel to the Flyers um I think for the Flyers Avalanche Capitals I think there are three teams that are probably just going to improve their forward group or uh, their prospect pool up front. Uh, the only team I would say the Flyers might go defenseman, but for me, if Reichel's there at 23, you go Reichel. And I think, uh, like I said, I think Perot uh, is a really underrated prospect for sure. And uh, to close out my top 31, uh, Justin Barron, I think he's fallen in the ranks a little bit, but I still think he might go in the first round. I would say first round. Uh, Ryan O'Rourke, I love Ryan O'Rourke. This is one of my favorite prospects in the draft. I think if the Leafs could maybe get a trade with Anaheim, that could be a possibility. Uh, but as I've said, I think the three teams that I'm looking at in the top 15 that could trade their pick, Edmonton as well, maybe, but it would have to be for like a legit package. Uh, but Ottawa at five, Buffalo at eight, and Toronto at 15 are the three teams I'm looking at to potentially trade their pick. Ottawa's probably a hot take, but Buffalo and Toronto look out for that. Uh, John Jason Paterka uh, to Ottawa add some more skill up front but here's my thing I could see Ottawa going defenseman here if they go forward back to back like three uh, three and five um, but they could also go defenseman to us the draft uh, Grands Wallander two defensemen two Swedish defensemen uh, sorry that's a mistake there shouldn't be a center beside Grands he is a defenseman so that's a mistake he is a defenseman. Uh, Tyson Forster, right wing. Uh, he put up some serious numbers with, I believe, Barry. So um, he could be a guy that closes up this first round. But Helgi Grant is definitely a defenseman, so that's a mistake. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Honestly, like this has been tough for me because I really didn't follow the draft as much this year or the prospects like leading up. It, it's just been like school. It's been like live streams. It's been the channel. So uh, take... What I talk about with the draft, with the grain of salt, I, I do believe, as I've said, I, I think in the past I've been very knowledgeable and I've followed the draft a lot. Uh, this year, probably a little less, but uh, based on the tape, based on articles, based on what I've read, um, this is what I've come up with. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want more draft content. If you want me in the future to follow the draft, prospects more. Um, I have one year left in school. It's definitely something I want to continue to uh, pursue. Um, so hope to see you more on this channel. Please subscribe. And uh, 
join the live stream October 9th. As I said, 24 hour live stream, free agency. It's going to be a lot of fun and hope to see you soon. This was John from Otagaki. Have a good one. Peace out.